What's the worst food you've ever tried? My ex-mother-in-law's meatloaf. She literally just pressed ground beef into a square baking pan and threw it in the oven. Zero spices. Zero anything but hot ground beef. She also made baked spaghetti which was cooked spaghetti noodles with plain tomato sauce in a pan and baked. Her cooking made me realize why I had to twist my ex's arm to try real meatloaf and baked it either way it's supposed to be made. There was a week where my mom was out so my dad had to cook for my brother and I. His first day he made chili. By chili I mean that he browned some beef, threw it in a pot with water and added one single packet of chili seasoning to the water and served it to us. We had frozen pizza the rest of the week. I'm impressed he browned the beef first. That's a common overlooked thing with first time cooks. I was visiting Fort Huachuca. As for work not in the military, they have a knockoff Panda Express there. Identical menu with different names. Like those bootleg KFCs in China that are identical to KFC, but it's Kevin's funky chicken or something. Anyhow, I'm hungry. Bootleg Panda seems like a good deal. I order up the usual. Chinese food, like pizza, gets pretty wide latitude. Even if it's lousy, it's not that bad. This was straight up inedible. I don't even have the words to describe it. Just gristle and batter all fried together. Ended up just tossing the whole thing out and going to Burger King. Jellied salad. Lots of my family still thinks aspics are a necessity for family dinners so there'll usually be a variety of jellied salads. Tomato salad. Shredded cabbage salad. Usually some kind of weird olive and hard boiled egg combo for some reason. All sitting on their plates. Perfectly rectangular. Wiggling away. On New Year's Day a few years ago. My dad bought ribs to make for dinner. Upon taking my first bite. I spit it out immediately. I don't think I've ever spit food out like that other than this one time. It turned out they were totally rancid. And to this day I still can't eat ribs. Thankfully, none of us actually got sick. I smoke ribs often. I've been going to my butcher for 10 years and never had an issue. Over the 4th of July, I bought 3 racks of baby backs to smoke for the family up at the cabin. I thought them out in the fridge, opened up the vacuum pack, and it was the absolute worst smell in the history of smells. Pure ducking sofa smell. Almost 5 months later, I can still smell it in my nose. I don't know what the heck happened, or even if they were edible, but at that point, there was no cooking them. In the trash they went. I had to air my cabin out for a solid 7-8 hours. In the Dominican Republic, there is a mountain in Puto Plata called Isabel Detours. On that mountain there is a restaurant. That restaurant sells the worst goddamn burgers you will ever eat in your life. Edit fix typo. Edit would just like to say, don't be discouraged from visiting the Dominican Republic. The people, culture, scenery, and food there are all amazing. Take it from me. I lived there for 6 years. 9, 10 would recommend. Okay this is so ducking oddly specific. I need more details. With these much specific details of the locations. I too have a strong urge to go and tick off worst burger ever from my bucket list. And with that, they got you. It's not the worst. But it's hard to get to, and so they have no customers. Genius over there goes on message boards, comment sections, and reddit to list his restaurant as the worst ever, and people get fooled into trying it just to find out. Classic plan. Went to a dinghy basement restaurant in Toronto, and ordered shrimp with lobster sauce. Unseasoned. Poorly cooked shrimps with some gelatin textured brown sauce containing bits of presumably lobster, but possibly fancy feast. Oh man. The worst food I have ever tried has got to be kidneys. By a long ducking mile. A little backstory. My dad was finishing our basement in our old house, and he had an elderly man from our old church helping him out with hanging the drywall, electrical wiring, that kind of thing. Well. This old geezer knew my family liked beef heart side note beef heart is delicious. But you have to be ready for the ventricles they can be a bit weird to chew on if you don't cut them out of the piece of meat that you're eating. So he says we are gonna love kidneys. My dad always loved liver. So he just assumed it would be something similar. Not. Even. Duck eyeing. Closed. My dad did everything he could to spice this rancid meat up and make it not taste like pure. 
unadulterated sadness, but nothing worked it smelled like this. The house reeked of it for weeks after. My dad refused to even try it. My mom took a bite and spat it out. And then they made my brother and I eat a bite. I can still smell that goddamn stench. Anyway. So. We end up ordering pizza. And that old fart sat down and ate an entire pound of that acrid organ. Mind you. This is the same old man that would eat bulbs of garlic like ducking apples in the middle of church. So I don't know why that wasn't a red flag right from the start to my parents. Lutefisk. My own chicken. Honey. Lemon concoction which was less Italian summer and more like fisherman's friend lozenge. In high school I got pizza from the pizza shack in the lunch area. The pizza was soggy as heck from the grease. Upon taking a bite, it tasted like alcohol. The bread had fermented. Once I was in hospital in France, and I had the second worst meal of my life. Four square inches of cabbage that looked like a relief map of a swamp. A chicken thigh garnished with two whole olives. One of which was to the side, and the other was directly on top. So it looked like a small, hairless one-legged creature with big black eyes that had been stunned and lain in a couple of millimeters of grease. Earlier that week I'd had the worst meal of my life, which was strictly tough. Dark brown meat sitting in its own tepid juice. I'm 80% convinced it was horse. I was in France and stopped by a place in Paris. I had been traveling for several months and missed Mexican food. When the owner found out I was Mexican she insisted I try the flan she just made as a first attempt. The food was pretty alright. Not like home but it hit the spot. She brought out the flan and stood there expectantly waiting for my response. It was absolutely the worst flan I had ever had in my life. Like it just tasted bad. Like eggs that were off. I couldn't hide my reaction and she became visibly upset. I ate a little more to be polite, but just couldn't anymore. I told her I'm just very picky and suggested a few things as I had worked in a bakery that had made some in the past aside from family recipes. I gave her my contact info and a few weeks later got an email thanking me. A group of Mexican musicians came through and told her, while it wasn't traditional it was very tasty and had a good texture, and that any time I was back to please stop by for a meal on the house. Unfortunately the next time I was back the place had closed down. College. Let me clarify we were ranked in the top 10 worst food lists for several years running. While I was there, a Pizza Hut thing was added that we could use as a meal for dinner. I don't mean a franchise. I mean they got a bunch of frozen pizzas, squirted some oil on them, and fed them through a conveyor belt. This was a giant step up in quality. You no longer had to do things like sniff the milk before putting it on cereal to make sure it hadn't gone off. Our food was horrific. I had the worst sandwich of my life at a conference once. It consisted of the following. A massive, uncooked, stale piece of French bread. The driest thing in the world. A singular piece of ham. Tomato paste. Like from a can. Not ketchup. A packet of mayo on the side. That's literally it. Bombay duck. Not really duck but dried fish. Fairly sure it's classed as a bush meat these days. My mum ended up banning my dad from cooking it in the house because it stank the place out. He had to cook it in the garden on the BBQ. Tasted like it smelt. Like shit. Unripe persimmon. It tastes okay, but the tannins in the fruit, if not properly soft and ripe, make your mouth immediately feel fuzzy, like your tongue is shot with Novocaine. A completely unexpected mouth feel where your immediate reaction is get this out of my mouth now. Now I know. One of my ex-GF's grandmother had the whole family over for dinner one night. She cooked spaghetti and my ex's mom warned me that it would be terrible. Boy, was she right. Her grandmother boiled water, put in the noddles, did not drain the water, and then dumped some salt, pepper, and ketchup into the pot and served it. I had to excuse myself to the bathroom so I could dry heave over the toilet. This one has a redemption arc. My then girlfriend brought some leftover Ethiopian food and kept talking about how awesome it was and had me try some injure a giant sourdough pancake. It was absolutely revolting. Dry and brittle and weirdly grainy and the wrong side of chewy. Fast forward about a month and we go to the restaurant where I figure there has to be good stuff and I can avoid the bread. 
Stuff there tells me the injurer is your utensil. You tear off bits to pick up your food with. They also say never put it in a fridge or microwave it at which point my GF stared at the table mournfully. Order arrives and I take a breath. Pick up some red lentils with the injurer and discover my death row meal. It's the greatest food on the planet. The fresh injurer tastes amazing and only highlights everything you pick up with it. Gourd gourd beef pan roasted in burr beer that's super spicy and amazing. Injurer and red lentils are now the best food I've ever tasted. If you're ever in Memphis, go to Abyssinia on Poplar. Try the red lentils. Now the worst food I've tasted is one of those over the top stacking shit upon shit and drowning it into types of mayonnaise and fake wasabi sushi rolls. I went to a lady's house for lunch in Amsterdam. She served some sort of fried liver croquettes on hamburger buns. She was so sweet and there was nothing else to eat. So I had to gag it down. It was really the worst thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. This made me realize I've never had any really really bad food. Like nothing that was so bad that I can still remember it. My mother made cow tongue once and we, me and my siblings, weren't allowed to leave the table until the plates were clean. I can still smell it when I close my eyes and it's been over 15 years. A pineapple covered with boiled shrimps that were held in place by toothpicks. Each segment of the pineapple had a pink, boiled shrimp. The thing looked vaguely like a brain. The pineapple wasn't cut into sections, so there was no real way you could eat it. It was just something to stick the shrimp on a toothpick. There's a burrito place in town called Freebirds. Holy shit. That's by far the worst burrito I've had in my entire life. A frozen burrito from 7-Eleven is a hundred times better than the horse shit they serve at Freebirds. One none of the meat or toppings had any salt or seasoning. It all tasted the same. Even the cheese didn't taste like anything. How do you mess up cheese? Do they have a saucer and condiment bar? But none of the sauces were hot or tasted like anything. I made sure to sample every saucer and hot sauce they offered nothing had flavor. Three on top of nothing having flavor. They don't even offer salt I asked for salt and they didn't have any. I also asked for tapatio or chalula, tabasco, anything. And they didn't offer any bottled sauces. Taco Bell is better than Freebirds. Chipotle is better than Freebirds. A cheese stick melted on a tortilla is better than Freebirds. I remember eating my entire burrito, feeling confused as to why everything tasted like nothing, and walking out to my car feeling like they stole from me. If you've ever eaten any food from Whole Foods Hot Food Bar, you know what I'm talking about. Chicken, beef, pork, mac and cheese, potatoes all foods that should be flavorful, but somehow someone managed to cook everything with zero seasoning so it all tastes like nothing. Taco Del Mar. I don't know if the chain extends beyond Western Canada, but it's like someone tried a burrito from an Aramark cafeteria think of the saddest, blandest cafeteria you've ever been to. They probably run it and thought this is too fresh and flavorful. When ordering a chicken quesadilla we were asked if we wanted cheese on it. This was lunch for a family get together where, despite being known for our appetite and including two notoriously hungry teens, most of us didn't bother finishing our food. It is literally the only time I have heard my mother, who barely even tolerates her dinner being cooked with a twist of pepper, describe food as bland. It might as well have been styrofoam. My former roommate 26 male can't cook anything to save his life. He attempted to make rotel by microwaving Velveeta with canned tomatoes and a heap of salt to say it was the most foul, inconsistent substance I've ever ingested as an understatement. I lived in China for a while. My employer took we to an extremely fancy restaurant once. One that was apparently listed as one of the 8 treasures of Chinese cuisine by the CCP. It specialized in accurate recipes from a period that, if I remember correctly was about 700 years old. They served a tea that was basically just a baby turtle boiled in water and served turtle and all. Beyond the unpleasantness of opening your little cup and finding a whole boiled baby turtle, it tasted like weak old gym socks. When I was a kid my dad cooked chicken thighs with the bone taken out and replaced with a banana. Banana and chicken. Cheap gummy bears. It tastes completely artificial. No matter how many times I try it, 
It tastes like if you were to put sweeteners on a disease. That one time I was making a tuna wrap, added what I thought was tsatsuki, it was actually vanilla Greek yogurt, immediately lost all appetite, and suffered from cognitive dissonance of the tastabids for hours afterwards.